What I would say, you asked for duck feet, but I am going to also read this one. I'll read you two. I'll read you duck feet and I want to read the biggest dog. Come. Duck feet and the biggest dog. Okay? Yes, but how are you going to read the biggest dog out? The biggest dog is in that book. Let's put a blanket on your legs so your legs are warm. Good. Alright. Are you ready? Yes. Duck feet. I wish that I had duck feet by Dr. Seuss. I wish that I had duck feet and I can tell you why. You can splash around in duck feet, you don't have to keep them dry. I wish that I had duck feet, no more shoes, no shoes for me. The man down at the shoe store would not have my size, you see. If I had two duck feet, I could laugh at Big Bill Brown. I would say, you don't have duck feet, these are all there are in town. I think they would be very good to have them when I play. Only kids with duck feet on could ever play this way. But my mother would not like them. She would say, get off my floor. She would say, you take your duck feet and you take them out that door. Don't ever come in here again with duck feet on, now don't. So, I guess I can't have duck feet. I would like to, but I won't. Yes, Luke? That sounds rude. It's supposed to sound rude. It's supposed to sound rude because his mom is angry that he's walking in the house with, That's too rude. with wet duck feet. Yeah, say it nicely next time. How would I say that nicely? I'll try and say it nicely next time. So if I can't have duck feet, I'll have something else instead. Say, I know what, I wish I had two horns up on my head. I wish I had two deer horns, they would be a lot of fun. Then I can wear ten hats up there, Big Bill can wear just one. I think they would be very good to have when I play ball. Then nobody could stop me, no sir, nobody at all. My horns could carry books and stuff, like papers, pens, and strings, and apples for my teacher, and a lot of other things. But. If I had big deer horns, I would never get a ride. I could never ride the school bus. I could never get inside. And so I won't have deer horns. I'll have something else instead. I wish I had a whale spout, a whale spout on my head. When days get hot, it would be good to spout my spout in school. And then the Spanx would say, thanks, thanks. You keep our school so cool. Do you have a question? I could play all day in summer. I would never feel the heat. I would beat Big Bill at tennis. I would play him off his feet. Yes? I don't have a desk like Well, if you raise your hand like this, you are telling me, Daddy, I have a question. May I take one minute, please? Oh, I was going to say. Okay, but it looks like you have a question. Do you understand? Okay. But my mother would not like it. I know just what she would say. Not in the house. You shut that off. You take that spout away. I know what she would tell me. I don't want that spout about. And when mother does not want a thing, it's O-U-T. It's out, out of the house. That's correct. And so I will not have one. I don't wish to be a whale. I think it would be better if I had a long, long... I wish I had a long, long tail. Someday I will, I hope. And then I'll show the kids in town new ways to jump a rope. If I had a long, long tail, I know what I would like. I would like to ride down State Street, pulling girls behind my bike. 
If I had a long, I wish I had a long, long tail, and I can tell you why. I could hit a fly ten feet away and hit him in the eye. I know Miss Banks would like this. She would smile and she would say, No other boy in town can hit a fly so far away. But if I had a long, long tail, I know that Big Bill Brown would tie me in a tree, he would. Then how would I get down? I don't think that I would like it with my tail tied in a tree. The more I think about it, no, no long, long tail for me. And so, if I can't have a tail, I'll have a long, long nose. A nose just like an elephant's, the longest nose that grows. I wish I had a long, long nose, and I can tell you why. I think it would be very good to get at things up high. What is that? Whiskey. That's correct. Every kid in town would love it. Every kid but Big Bill Brown. And every time I saw him, I would sneeze and blow him down. Scratch him! water. Say. I could help the firemen. My nose would be just right. I could help them put out fires a hundred times a night. Oh, I would do a lot of things that no one ever did. And everyone in town would say, just watch that long-nosed kid. But if I had a long, long nose, I know what Dad would do. My dad would make me wash the car, the house, and windows, too. He's working. What's his dad doing? He's relaxing, isn't he? Do you know what that is? What? What? What's that? I don't know. It's a pipe. It's a pipe. It's kind of like cigarettes, but it's called a pipe. My dad would make me work all day and wash things with that hose. I guess it would not be so good to have a long, long nose. Now let me think about it. All these things I want are bad. And so I wish, I wish, I wish. What do I wish I had? I know what. I know just what. I know just what to do. Wish that I had all those things. I'd be a which what who. If I could be a which what who, I'd jump high in the air. I'd splash and spout and run about. I'd give the town a scare. But the people would not like it. They would be so scared, I bet. They would call the town policeman. They would catch me. They would put me in the zoo house with my horns and nose and feet. And hey, just hey, two times a day is all I'd get to eat. I think it would be very sad when people came to call. I don't think a witch what who would be much fun at all. And so, I think there are some things I do not wish to be. And that is why I think that I just wish to be like. No, no, not like Ming McQueen, like me. Say me, say me, say me, 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 say me. Right. You better say me right quick. You better say me. Say me, puppy. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a pass. Let's see. He put his. Dusty and horns and whale spout and tail and the longest nose that grows. He put them all in the garbage and he said, I don't need them anymore. All right. Is that a spider? Is there a spider on the book? It's a dead spider. He's still alive. All right. Would you like me to read one more book? Yes. It's not please. 
Standing this spider web. We're gonna read the digging this dog. Scooby, what's Scooby Dooby Doo? Scooby Dooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Doo. Do you want me to read the digging this dog? the bridge my legs yeah okay the diggingest dog I was the saddest dog you ever could see sad because no one wanted me the pet shop window was my jail the sign behind me said for sale I was tied to a bare hard floor of stone I could not even dig for a bone. I was living all my life alone, a dog that no one wanted to own. Then one day at half past four, Sammy Brown came in the door. Sammy took one look at me and cried, why are you tied up here inside? I always wanted a dog like you, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll take you out to the farm with me. You'll play outdoors where you should be. I felt as happy as a pup when Sam paid the man and picked me up. He rubbed my ears, he scratched my head. I think I'll call you Duke, he said. Sam gave me a collar, he gave me a lead. We left the shop at tremendous speed. We went a long way out of town. We came to a farm of Sammy Brown. It was the nicest place I'd ever seen, a pretty white house in a field of green, and in the shade of the apple tree, a special dog house just for me. The next morning while Sam did his chores, he let me run and play outdoors. I'd never played outdoors before. I'd always lived on that hard floor. I'd never run on nice soft ground. Now I barked with joy as I ran around. Sam looked at me and scratched his head. Duke, you need some friends, he said. He blew his whistle, he blew a blast, and many dogs came running fast. I'd never met a dog before. Now I was meeting six or more. They walked around and looked at me. They looked me over carefully. Then at last I heard them say, he's one of us, he'll be okay. One dog, who wasn't very big, suddenly began to dig. The others started digging too, but that was something I could not do. I'd never learned to dig in that store. How could I on that hard stone floor? I tried to dig, but alas, I couldn't. I wiggled my paws, my paws just wouldn't. I fell on my ear, I fell on my face, I fell on myself all over the place. The others said, Duke, you may be big, but he's no good. He cannot dig. They stuck their noses in the air. They walked away. They left me there. I'll teach you, Duke, cried Sammy Brown. I'll show you how to dig deep down. He crouched beside me with his hand. He dug a hole in a pile of sand. I tried it too, but still I couldn't. I wiggled my paws. My paws just wouldn't. I'd never learned to dig in that store. How could I on that hard stone floor? Sammy sighed. I almost cried. My eyes and nose were full of dirt. My paws and claws and elbows hurt. I had a pain across my back. I knew I'd never get the knack. Sammy felt sad and I felt bad. If only I could make him glad. We both knew I'd never get it right. Sam and I couldn't sleep that night. So when the sun rose in the sky, I thought I'd give it one more try. I wiggled one paw, I saw it could. I wiggled the other, I saw it would. I could dig with my paws, I could dig with my claws. I felt no pain across my back. I knew, at last, I had the knack. Sammy Brown looked out at me. He saw me digging happily. Good for you, Duke, Sammy cried. I knew you'd do it if you tried. So I 
dug farther. I dug faster. I dug and dug to please my master. Oh, you can't breathe loud, okay? I dug up the grass. I dug up the weeds. I dug up daisies. I dug up seeds. I dug up the fence. I dug up the gates. I dug up the garden of Mrs. Thwaites. I dug up the rooster. I dug up the hens. I dug up the sheep and pigs in their pens. I dug and dug. I couldn't stop. I dug up the barber in his shop. I dug up Mr. Rodney Fair sitting in the barber's chair. I dug my way right through the town. I dug a lot of buildings down. I was having so much fun. I dug up highway. 81. I came to a hill, I dug to the top, but all of a sudden I had to stop. Right in front of me, looking down, there stood my master, Sammy Brown. Sam didn't smile or pat my head, he only glared at me and said, I'm sending you back to that animal store. They'll tie you up to that hard stone floor, and you'll never, never dig anymore. I couldn't run, I couldn't hide. Dogs came at me from every side. And then suddenly I knew there was just one thing for me to do. I ran away from Sammy Brown. I dug a hole that went straight down. I left him standing up on top. I dug and dug, I didn't stop. How deep I dug, I could not tell. But soon I found I dug a well, mud and water up to my chin. What a fix I now was in. I started to sink. I started to yelp, help, I yelp, help, 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 help. I could hear them way above my head. I could hear every word they said. One dog growled, he wrecked our town. This serves him right. Just let him drown. But Sam cried, Duke, you've been bad. You've made me sad instead of glad. But we're not going to let you die. Well, at, we'll get you out. At least we'll try. Then at last I heard him shout, Maybe we can pull you out. A chain, each dog biting the one in front. They're making a chain. Slowly, slowly down they came each dog part of a long dog chain. I reached up, I touched a nose, I felt them lift me by my toes. Slowly, slowly, bit by bit, they dragged me up out of the pit. I thanked the dogs and Sammy Brown, and then I started back toward town. I knew I had to dig once more to fix the things as they were before. That's what I did. I dug back gates. I dug back the garden of Mrs. Thwaites. I dug back the roosters and the hens. I dug back all the pigs and their pens. I dug all day in the summer sun. I dug back Highway 81. I dug back everything in town, everything that I'd knocked down. Today when I dig, well, I'm careful now. I'm useful too. Sammy lets me plow. He'll never send me to that store or tie me up on a hard stone floor. My dog friends watch and wonder why they can't dig as well as I. The end. No, son, that's been too long of stories. But I'm going to close the book now. Is that a spider? Is that a spider? Spider's dead. Spider's dead. You're going to climb on the bridge? The spider's on the bridge too. All right. Walking toward the end.
Hurry up. Jump. All right. Now listen, today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. You may help me. Oh, yeah. No, that was right. Grab that one and grab this one. Bam. Very nice. I can do it. Okay. Very nice. I can finish the one that I. Your what? Your. Oh, in my eye. All right, lay down, please. Which blanket would you like? Spider Man? It's late, Luke. It's late. Why? Well, because we stayed up late because Grandma's here. Where's Grandma? Downstairs. Where is uh, she's probably in the living room right now. Yeah, where's my corner? Right here. Squished. Squished? No. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Okay, All right, give me a hug right quick. And then in the morning when you wake up, you come see me, okay? And then we'll go down and wake Grandma up, okay? Yes? Love you. Say goodnight, Poppy Daddy.